Morning everybody, wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with our storm, which is sort of continuing, although the majority of the accumulating snow has wrapped up for us. Uh, we're gonna look at radar and look at what's going on storm-wise, also look at some of the totals we've had for today. And also we're gonna take a look at a weaker storm system that's gonna move through on Friday, but we're probably looking at some more accumulating snow on Friday, although far weaker system than this one. Um, so we're gonna look at some details on that as we're in a very busy weather pattern. Um, and just at the very end, we're not gonna look at really any of the details, but there is certainly another chance for another significant storm the end of the weekend like Sunday night into Monday next week is definitely possible so very busy weather pattern so I wanted to give you a quick update first of all radar wise um, snow has, is continuing the storm really hasn't moved our storm is still sort of uh, in a place where we would normally be getting a lot of snow but we've gotten a lot of dry air to mix in um, at the mid levels of the atmosphere which has really shut snow off uh, matter of fact outside here currently in South London area as I'm looking out the window we're actually kind of like a fine sleet what happens sometimes is um, when the lift goes away um, and you get kind of weak um, ice crystal production instead of getting flakes you end up with kind of like these little hard crystals that are kind of sleet it's uh it's it's not sleet if, if we if it's not sleet because of the temperature pro profile so much as it's because the droplets are being made so small that they can kind of uh they create more of a an ice uh crystal uh, like a hard little ice crystal as opposed to more of a snowflake um so this kind of stuff it will probably fall we could fill this back in a little bit this section of the storm instead of kind of swinging through as would often happen um the storm is going to kind of redevelop and you can kind of see that happening in Maine right now as the surface energy is going to once again transfer itself to Maine. We could still get some more snow here in south uh, in, in southern Vermont um, but I wouldn't anticipate much more in the way of accumulation and I think this morning we actually won't really see anything. It's possible this afternoon that we get back into a, a brief period of some accumulating snow maybe an inch or two though. Nothing too significant. Road conditions should in general improve today um, although some of this little crystally sleet stuff can make it pretty slick on top of stuff so still be careful if you got to get out there this morning. Uh, in terms of how much snow we got, um, uh, these numbers are not finalized. Some of these numbers come from later on, but um, you can just kind of see these are re as reported into the National Weather Service. Um, so we got a lot of places did kind of close in on a foot, especially in the higher terrain. Um, I at my house got about eight inches of snow. We see in the uh, along the Connecticut River Valley, ten to eight. Um, we do see lesser amounts as we headed up if we head up into Wyndham and uh, Rut or sorry Windsor and Rutland County. Um, uh, those areas are still getting a little bit of snow. They might add onto those totals a little bit, although um, they did kind of underperform a little bit. Uh, and we see also less snow if we head down sort of uh, to the west uh, into the kind of the valley heading down into Bennington as well. Um, but a pretty decent snowfall altogether. Uh, certainly um, some places down in uh, Connecticut and particularly in northwestern New Jersey ended up with well over two feet of snow. So um, definitely a big performer in places like that. Uh, in terms of what the surface uh, looks like, surface map looks like, you can see our storm here. We can see this kind of um, redevelopment of another, an additional storm, uh, or, or just kind of a redevelopment of, of where the best um, low pressure falls are going to happen off the coast of. Uh, off the coast of Massachusetts, my goodness, I can almost uh, talk this morning. Uh, and so that the storm is, instead of kind of rolling up the coast the way it would often do, it's sort of transferring energy. And why, that's why I think this the, all that precipitation to the west of us in New York, which is still coming down in a pretty accumulating clip, instead of uh, kind of sliding to our east, is mostly just going to die as it heads west. Um, so that's why I don't think we'll get um, much in the way of snow accumulation as we continue throughout the day. Our next storm system for Friday is coming on shore here over the west coast. You can see it's disorganized, um, and it's going to kind of die over the Rockies that happens all the time and it's going to redevelop and what we're looking at for a storm track is something like this this is not a classic storm track for us storm is going to redevelop um, uh, in northern northeastern Colorado got kind of uh, develop east and then uh, basically ride northeast um, and normally a storm track like this would potentially bring us rain but what's going to happen is the storm is going to kind of be very mature here and then it's going to be just kind of setting a front uh, with precipitation racing east and so I think we will actually stay mostly snow particularly above 800 feet for this It'll be kind of a, a, a on the border of a mix of snow or rain um, But and it's not going to be a real significant storm, but it will happen during the day on Friday um, brief uh, burst of snow. I think Friday morning probably is timing on that is most likely. Um, that's uh, we're still a few days out, so that's definitely possible that that could change. Um, I think lower elevations could w mix with or change to rain. Won't really be a, a situation with a lot of sleet or freezing rain. It'll mostly just go from snow to rain. Early estimates, I think one to three inches for the low elevations, uh, two to four from 800 to 1500 feet, and about three to five above 1500 feet. Again, those numbers are definitely 
subject to change. And then uh, stay tuned over the next few days for uh, details on a potential significant coastal storm late Sunday into next Monday, um, as well as the pattern continues to be very busy. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, one thing I wanted to do, and I'll put the, I'll start the conversation below. It's Groundhog's Day, which is a uh, one of my favorite days as a weatherman uh, in some regards. Although so, or also one of the more ridiculous weather days of, of the year. Um, but uh, the main reason I like Groundhog's Day so much is because it spawned probably, uh, in my opinion, uh, and I think this is. Uh, basically should be the consensus thought, uh, that uh, it spawned the best weather movie ever made, uh, Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray. Um, and so uh, one thing we're going to do, though, we're going to do a poll in the comments section of the YouTube uh, video here. Uh, I want you to uh, comments on what your favorite weather movie is um, or just some weather movies you think of that you like. doesn't have to be your favorite. If your favorite's Groundhog's Day, which it should be, um, then you can uh, you can comment that. But um, if you've got other options, there are a bunch of them out there. There are some, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll interact with you there. I'd like to uh, just uh, see See what people's favorite weather movie is um and so that'll that's what we're gonna do after this um a little bit of fun uh on a snowy day i know most of the kids are at least uh learning remotely and i hope you don't have to drive around too much um and the condition should get better by this evening um and then uh yeah friday we're looking at our next snow so uh thanks for my patrons uh just uh thanks for helping support the page and uh if you want to become a patron there um you can there's a video that you can click on that will pop up at the end of this video or you can uh, just go to my patreon page and the link is in the description below okay um, otherwise, we'll be back uh, for patrons. Um, we'll be back tomorrow morning with a, or tomorrow afternoon, I should say, evening with a uh, look at your weekend forecast, uh, their early look, and then everybody else will be back on Friday. I'll probably do a Thursday video as well, just as an update on the Friday storm. Okay. Uh, until then, stay safe out there. Enjoy the snow.